Spirit is showing me a bit of magic in the air today. Something unexpected coming your way. Mm. And then, you know, everyone always wants to look at the kind of gift things as something material, physical, but it's not always. Now, I'm not saying it's not going to be something like that because it very well could be. We're all going to be receiving a little something different. For some, it will be that very, very physical thing that is maybe a memento or memory or um, something to help you move for forward with whatever it is you're doing. Whatever your, your goals are, right? And for others, it may be a breakthrough. Or maybe you're given the gift of seeing someone for who they really are and seeing their true intentions. They will show you. All you have to do is pay attention and listen. Watch. Do their actions and words match? Do they? Mm, right? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I see you. And I see what your intentions are. I hear your words, but your actions are telling me something completely different. Mm -hmm. We all know those people, right? We all have had somebody in our lives like that, multiple people most likely. And so sometimes that is the best gift the universe can give you is to real, reveal someone's true self to you. So you know whether to move forward with them or not. Uh-huh. Time for you to go, Felicia. Bye. Don't let the door hit you in the butt on the way out. <laughs> Sometimes that gift is just something within you that clicks. Suddenly it changes and you get it. You understand something that you were having a problem with before. So the universe is going to bring all of us something different. Some of you will get that aha moment. Some of you will get that clarity. Some of you will have that person that is not a good person being revealed to you so you know how to handle them in the future. And then some of you will be getting a material gift or a financial gift, something that is going to help you move forward with whatever goals and projects that you've got going on right now. Also, I'm seeing there's a good opportunity to uh, increase your finances. If you don't have a side hustle, everyone needs more than one chain of income coming in. So, if, you, if there's something that you do really, really well, or something you love to do, figure out how to make money off of that. Figure out how to increase your income or your savings. And don't spend it all in one place. Put it back. You're going to want it later. There's a lot more things we're going to be doing throughout this year as we continue to build. And you're going to want to use that, utilize that in a lot different ways. So I suggest that that is what you start doing from this point forward. Um, and Spirit says, there's going to be some fine-tuning with all of your different processes. So I want you to start looking also at your daily routine and habits. Where can you tighten up? Where can you fit in or schedule things that are necessary? That maybe you're not doing right now, but you really need to be doing, right? More time to exercise, more time for yourself more time to get this done and that done. There's a lot of things on our list. There is so much work to be done in this year. <laughs> we might get tired and we do need to learn how to take a rest. We do need to make sure we're practicing self-care throughout the whole time so that we don't find ourselves in burnout mode. We don't want that, do we? So look at your processes. Be ready to receive some sort of gift. Hmm. All in all, today is going to be a really fabulous day. Next week we have a new moon, so be thinking also in advance about what's your next step in, step in manifesting your goals. Are you ready? Oh yeah, let's do this. Remember, you have the power to create the life you've always dreamed of. Oh yes, you do. Get outside, touch the earth, cleanse your space, <gasps> do your meditations. And remember that this is why the wolf, the raven, and the spirit 
we're sending you unconditional love.